job growth was much weaker than first reported, and much weaker than Trump brags about. President Donald Trump's approval rating is consistently dismal, but the one area that always pulls his low numbers up is how voters think he's handling the economy and unemployment. Trump talks all the time about how great the economy is, like taking credit when the Dow jumps up or when unemployment drops down, but never taking blame when the reverse occurs. Advertisement for example, here's President Trump talking about the economy and low unemployment numbers, to children and their families, at a White House Easter egg roll. President Trump speaks of White House Easter egg roll, we're setting records on stock markets. We're setting records with jobs, and unemployment numbers are the lowest they've ever been, 50 years and many groups and historically the lowest numbers we've ever had. Pictoc Twitter.com slash RG Beckdorf The Hill, at The Hill, April 22, 2019 Trump's claims about jobs just got slammed, and the wrecking ball comes from one of his own federal agencies, the Department of Labor. Every year the doll goes back and reviews the numbers it puts out, dives deeper by comparing him to state unemployment insurance reports, and issues a report measuring what unemployment and job growth really was. Advertisement and for 2018, the numbers are much different than what the initial reports showed. Employers added a half million fewer jobs in 2018 and early 2019 than previously reported, according to the Labor Department. The New York Times reports, calling the revision downward, the largest in recent years. In other words, the doll initially reported an additional 500,000 jobs that were never created. Advertisement Here's what that looks like. Employers added half a million fewer jobs in 2018 and early 2019 than previously believed, the latest evidence that the economy was weaker last year than it first looked. https colon slash slash t dot co slash three symptfio pic dot twitter dot com slash hcbwq forty six glz ben castleman at ben castleman august twenty first twenty nineteen a contributing editor at digital trends says it's a twenty one percent drop in job growth numbers from what the trump administration often claims Advertisement after factoring in the half a million reduction, that's roughly a 21% decline in American job growth when comparing the dataset the Trump admin likes to tout, November 2016 to July the 2019, versus the previous 33 months, February 2014 to October 2016. Mike Flacey, at Mike Flacey, August 22, 2019 and this senior economist offers up what the revision to the jobs numbers might look like if spread out over just a few months. Important point I forgot to mention on BLS benchmark revision of jobs numbers. They were almost certainly not evenly spread over the year. Take an extreme case and the full 500k was in the last three months. It means job growth over the period from DEC to March was just 21,000. Dean Baker, at Dean Baker 13, August 22, 2019 Advertisement 2018, which had ranked among the strongest years of job growth in the decade-long recovery, was weaker than previously believed, The Times also reports. Enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DCR report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, we've got issues, focused on issues, not tweets. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of venture capital brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. 
unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords. We fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigate, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DCR report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, we've got issues, focused on issues, not tweets. Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of venture capital brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigate, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Send news tips to email protected. Let's block ads. Why?